How's it going, YouTube? Dallas Boy here, back in with another Pokemon Showdown battle. Today's matchup is going to be against Andrew RB15. We had this match during Mega Mogwai's stream while celebrating his championship in the GBA. And before I get into team preview, I have to say congratulations, Mega Mogwai, on the well deserved championship. You definitely played the best out of all the competitors, etc., etc., etc. And, uh, yeah. So, anyways. Getting into the team preview, I'm looking at his Keldeo, and if that thing is Specs, I am not going to appreciate a hit, hit from that thing. I mean, yeah, I do have Tornadus, T, and Clefable for, to deal with it, but I gotta watch out for that Keldeo. So, uh, my, my game plan is pretty much keep Tornadus, T alive. I can hit his Mega, or I can hit his Latias for super effective damage with Knockoff. I can superpower the Bisharp and the Brothorn. Hurricane, the, the um, Keldeo, and that pretty much deals with a good chunk of the team. And also in case if Tornadus T goes down, I have Clefable in the back to try to bust Keldeo. So pretty much my game plan is to keep Tornadus T and Keldeo alive, and I should be okay for this match. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and let's get this show on the road. Starting off, he's leading off his Frothorn. I absolutely get my Tornadus T. And seeing what I want to go for, he goes out into his Latias. I crit with superpower, but it doesn't really matter because it's resistant hit and whatnot. But I know that thing doesn't want to get knocked off, so I just ought to go for the U-turn and get some momentum and go straight out into my Rotom Wash. Who then goes for a Volt Switch on the incoming Brawthorn, and I'm going to be going back into an ASD again. So having a little Volt Turn fun with this team. And I, except for there where I get a Hurricane off, and, which results in my 20 ASD getting Gyro Ball critted. So I'm pretty much forced to switch out <laughs> from there as he sets up a layer of spikes. And I go into my Rotom to burn that thing with will o -Wisp, and that will result in Power Whip doing absolutely nothing. Metaphorically, of course. But now he's going to be going into his Landorus T. Pretty aggressive switch, but a, but a good prediction that I would go for the Volt Switch there. And... I'm just going to opt to go into my Tornado's T here as he goes to the U-turn. I did not want him to get rocks up there, just in case. Although that would have been risky if he was Scarfed, which I'm thinking there. But anyways, I go into my Keldeo to avoid the Sucker Punch from Bisharp, and then try going for a Skull to get a burn on something. And Latias comes in, doesn't get burned, so I'm just going to be going on to my Clefable to Sponge of Draco Meteor, and then I'm going to wind up doubling into my Tornado's T as he goes into his Landorus Therian. So now, I don't want to take a Stone Edge from this thing, and I'm thinking that it might be Scarfed, so I'm going to go into Scizor and try to make it up, and here he goes for the U-turn, which confirms that he's not Scarfed, but here I can get up the slow U-turn on my own, and go right back into Tornado Therian. And here I'm just going to be going straight for the Hurricane. This confusion doesn't really matter, because I'm just going to go for the knockoff right here, and take it straight out. So, now he's going to be going back out into his Landers T. I'm just going to U-turn on out of there. Get a pretty unnecessary crit there. Because it's resistant hit and this thing's pretty bulky as it is. And I'm just going to... And he's just going to go into Stone Edge as I go into Mono Mono the Thoudon. And here as he sets up his rocks, I kind of thought that Ferrothorn or Keldeo would come in. So I just went for the Earthquake. But here goes for the U-turn. And now I set up my Stealth Rocks as he just goes for the... Into, the, into his Frothorn as I get my Stealth Rocks. And here I'm kind of... I probably should have gone to Clefable, really, but... I sent, it, I sent in my Scizor to try to get health back with Roots. But... <laughs> hindsight, Clefable was a better play, as Gyroball would have done Squat due to the Frothorn being burnt and whatnot. But... <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. And there he just goes out into his Keldeo. Goes for the Skull there, and that damage confirms Specs. Because that did giant chunk of damage. And now I'm just me going out to my Rotom to try to punch a Skull as he double switches into his Frothorn, predicting that switch. And I'm just going to hold switch on out of there and just flat go into Clefable to try to dodge Leech Seed, which I should have done in the previous attempt. And uh, now I'm actually going to be going out into my 20th Therian. As he winds up setting up a layer of spikes. And I'm thinking that a superpower from here would kill, but he winds up blitting with 4%, which is definitely unfortunate. 
But he winds up missing his leech seed, which is even more unfortunate for him, because he probably would have survived that next hit. But now he's going on to his Bisharp and winds up getting a crit sucker punch for revenge for the leech seed miss. Probably should have kept Tornado's T around for a little bit longer, but yeah, I insight's 2020. But there I just go into my Keldeo and try to get out the Scald and whatever. And he winds up going into his Alkazam, which is a big mistake because he <laughs> did not know that I was a Scarf Keldeo. And <laughs> Alkazam is pretty much dispatched. So out comes his Keldeo, and I'm thinking that this might be a good time to sack my Rotom Wash here. Because outside of trying to bop Landorus T, possibly try to take a hit from Bisharp, I don't want to lose anything else, and I kind of thought that this was the most expendable. So I can get a free switch in Michael Fable and try to soft boiled up or something. Except for the fact that I actually want to go in for the T Wave, knowing that I live a hit from previous damage. So I'm just going to soft boiled up. Here as uh, Keldeo fires off another Scald. And I tried going for the Moonblast here, which in hindsight was a little bit risky, seeing as that Bisharp was over there and could have gotten the Defiant Boost from, from the Moonblast, Moonblast Special Attack drop. And here I'm just going to go into my Scizor as Death Fodder so I can get a safe switch in my Keldeo. And then just fire off a Scarf Stall. He doesn't really have much to take it at this point, so he just lets his Landers T die. And now he's going to be going on to his Fish Sharp. I go for the Skull. I miss it on the KO, but he's in range where Life Orb is going to finish him off. But not before my Kelio is claimed victim to Sucker Punch. So now I'm going to go into my Fable and just fire off a Moonblast on his last pitch is Kelio, and that's going to be a pretty close 2-0. I mean, I did want to paralyzing that Keldeo in an earlier turn to uh, try to get a little failsafe damage off on that just in case if anything went wrong. But it is what it is, but definitely a very fun match, Andrew RB15. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this match. Rate, comment, sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.